Now the next one they ask is the equation of the small circle in the form x squared plus y squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals zero. Now when you first look at this it looks kind of scary but like relax. Now first thing they ask is the equation of the small circle. Now the small circle doesn't have anyway, so the small circle doesn't have its center at the origin which means we can't use the x squared plus y squared equals a radius squared that's not going to work for this one so you need to know the formula of the other one that formula is not on your information sheet so you got to know that one so the equation of a circle with the center a b and a radius r is x negative a bracket squared plus y negative b bracket squared equals r squared. Okay, so I scrubbled out because I didn't want to write everything again. But on that note, please, please remember, in your exam, no tipix is allowed. So scrubbles is fine, um, as well as pencil is not allowed. Don't use it. Okay, you're going to get, well, you're not going to get any marks. Okay, so we have the A and we have the B, and we're going to use M because that is, like, a point. Okay. So we're going to use M. Now, um, yeah, it's a small circle center, so yeah. Okay. And we have the radius, and we used, we, we got the radius in the previous question on the bigger circle. But on this one, okay, let's do this. So in the big circle, this is the radius. So we have the length of this whole thing. But remember, the radius is only half of that. Yeah. Now, we said that OP squared equals to 52. But OP, the distance, is going to be like the square root of 52. Because to get that away, we're going to square root it. Ooh. Okay, and what we do on the one side, we do on the other side. Okay. With that being said, the radius is half of that okay so it's going to be the square root of 52 divided by 2 now we just substitute everything in we're going to have x negative 2 squared plus y negative and then please again the signs and side note never ever put a plus and a negative or a positive and a negative next to each other okay ever or a negative and a negative, or a positive and a positive. Don't, don't do that. Always put them in brackets, like I did here. So I don't want to see, like, y negative negative 3 squared, ever. Please, please, please put brackets, otherwise you're going to make mistakes. Okay, so back onto this. And equals to radius squared, but the radius we said was the square root of 52 over 2. Then I am just going to like take all my brackets out. Please remember if you have a bracket squared, it means like it's going to turn into two brackets, which you're going to times with each other. And when all of that is said and done, you're going to get x squared plus y squared negative 4x plus 6y okay, equals to 0. Okay, and that takes the form of that. Um, yeah, and that's where you're going to end because you can't go any further than that.